Right then, this is something I have been wanting to review for a while, but I've been a little bit too tight to pay for whack for it. So, when I got this for 60% off, thanks to a Reddit thread, plus a little bit of cash back, I thought, well, this is a done deal. Just to be completely open and honest about this review, this is not sponsored, but there are affiliate links down below. So just to repeat, this is not sponsored. Just get my trusty helper out. Now there's a couple of reasons why I've gone for this, is that A, I live alone and I don't find cooking particularly fun and I always end up with a load of waste, which seeing as what's happening to our supermarket shelves, Brexit, COVID made me feel really bad. So getting this should hopefully make me feel less guilty and I can eat a bit healthier because I am trying to train for a cycling event. Yeah, I've given myself six weeks to train for 108 mile ride. But nonetheless, let's crack on with the opening. So let's have a look inside, shall we? Maybe should have gone a bit more careful then with a sharp knife. Anyway. Okay, see, you're gonna ruin the shot if you come down. The manual itself is your standard, we're great, look at what you're doing and trying to sell you at how much on a per dish basis, which, okay, you've got me interested there. Oh, okay, we'll come back to that in a minute. This box is for two adults for four days. So in this one, we've got crispy chicken wraps with chili mayo, all in one spicy lamb ragu pasta, Sticky lean beef and brood, broodle? Broccoli noodle stir fry. There's one more in here. Ah, there it is. No, it's not. Okay. Well, we're off to a good start. There appears to be one missing. Bugger. As you can see, on the top of each card, you've got a recipe bag number, and it looks like they coincide with what's in the box. As I suspected, I am missing a recipe card. So I have four different bags in here, Oh, okay. I'm missing 8158. Oh, joy. No, don't worry. Found it. The fifth and final one is salmon with spicy sesame noodles. Well, I'm looking forward to that one. I'm just going to lay it all out on the table. We have fine egg noodles, medium egg noodles, tortilla wraps. This is going to be a horrible editing job. Mind the cable on the side, that's my audio setup. Green stuff. More green stuff. A little bit of small thing of green. Oh, I'm going to shot that out of green stuff. Ugh. Green stuff that was open. That makes me worried. More green stuff. Now, this has got to be healthy, the amount of green stuff for here. A couple of tomatoes. A lime. What the hell is this? Con, 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 I'm guessing it's pasta. Onions, more green stuff, a red thing, a, a, another, another bit of green stuff. We're running out of space here. A, a, a tin of top tomatoes, top tomatoes. And we've got the big boy here. Bear with me while I put all the slide, all of this back to get the big one out. Ah! I have spotted a problem. This says, as you can see here, it's a cool box. However, there is no bottom of it. It's just made of cardboard, which means that's soaking wet. That's wet. That's wet. The cheese is wet. Yes. It's still cool, but, um, um, yeah. So it's future editing me here. And, um, as Beyonce once said, now put your hands up. if you've made a mistake and I have, you see, I didn't realize it came with a cool box. So I kind of left it out for the best part of a day. But I did check all the meats and all the fish and everything. And everything was at the right temperature before I decided to use it and put it in the fridge. So back to our regularly scheduled programming. Well, at least that's quite good. This is recycling, although it looks a bit... It's a... Oh, it's a nice pack. Oh, cool. I'll be reusing that. Oh, there's more, there's more plant stuff in here. Hang on. There's a, uh, a bit of ginger, a carrot. So for around 20 quid, so far I think that's pretty much spot on the money. Um, the lamb's not cheap, the chicken's fairly cheap, the salmon's about four pounds. So yeah, I would say so far we're on the money for a beer, okay, good for value. 
But, can I actually cook something? Tonight's recipe will be... We're gonna do the sticky lean beef and broccoli noodle stir fry because it's 10 past eight on a Tuesday and I am starving. But let's give this a try. This is what it looks like and let's see what it's like after I've cooked it. So it's been some 29 minutes later. Let us do the serve. Now, so this is what I've been able to come up with. Uh, I suppose it sort of looks familiar. Now, as I was tired and hungry, I didn't spend much time sort of prepping out all the ingredients, making sure everything was all lardy dar and organised. But as I slop it onto my plate here, because as I'm hungry, smells absolutely amazing. And this is for four, apparently. Is it two or for four? I can't remember. I'll show you why it's a bit confusing in a second. But um, there we are. Then that bit didn't exist. Do the old chef's thing. Yes, look at that. Let's get the uh, YouTube bit ready. I was looking then what the red bit is just down here in the corner of my camera that I realized it's a thing called the record button. But, uh, let us compare now. I did make a mistake with the spring onions. The, it tells you to cut the broccoli in half. As you can see, I have not got good broccoli head going on there. But, eh, it looks all right. Now let us do a bit of a taste test. I won't show you this bit on camera because, yeah. Try and get that in my gob. I think I watered down the hoisin sauce a bit too much, but for a 30 minute meal, that's not bad. In fact, I might do a bit more follow up after I've eaten it. Well, that's a good sign. I would say the sticky lean beef and broccoli noodle stir fry was, yeah, it was all right. I've got no complaints about it. Could have been a bit stickier, but I think that might have been me mucking up the, uh, the water compared to the hoisin sauce. So far, so good. I really enjoyed that and it means I have leftovers for tomorrow. Day one, officially none too shabby. If you've used Augusto Box, HelloFresh, Simply Cook or any other service like this, or you know of a good cookbook where you don't get to have leftovers, you can use everything up, please do leave a comment down below and don't forget to do the old like, share, leave a comment, tell your friends, post on social media because yeah, it's, uh, it's really cool when people do. Well, apparently you can search for Gusto Beats. We might try that next time. Until then, ta-da everybody. <laughs>